Hi and welcome to another editorial video. This month we're talking all about blockchain and what this technology potentially means for our industry. It's probably fair to say that blockchain has been and is even still a little overhyped. But when you consider the ways that blockchain could be adopted, perhaps there's a reason for that hype. Blockchain could be so revolutionary that it has the potential to shape the future of hotel and travel technologies, especially around distribution, security, payments, settlements and fraud prevention. In its simplest form, blockchain technology is a way to move information from one point to another in a highly secure environment. One focal point thus far is how blockchain technology in the hotel industry could eliminate third party costs, encouraging direct provider to consumer interactions. That said, given online travel agencies sit at the top of the distribution food chain, we probably should not expect the OTAs to necessarily rush into using decentralized technologies such as blockchain just yet. Whatever work they're doing on the topic will most likely be kept very quiet for the time being. Many believe that blockchain has the potential to vastly reduce the market share of OTAs and intermediaries. In a world of blockchain adoption, OTAs could potentially be positioned in a more transparent environment, continuing to of course do business, but in most likely a more level playing field. The concern that they may have is that they could start to see greater competition, because if you boil it down to its simplest form, anyone essentially could source rooms from a blockchain ecosystem. This could see a lowering in commission fees as the OTAs will be faced with the possibility of no longer having that exclusive inventory. Perhaps the ultimate dream scenario for blockchain would be based around increasing securities, allowing for increased personalization, avoiding higher OTA margins and even helping in reducing rate parity issues. What has always frustrated growth and innovation within the hospitality industry is the problem of centralised and inaccessible inventory. The vast majority of relevant data is held by a couple of large companies which arguably makes the barrier to entry for newer companies unfeasibly high. An example of a pain point among hoteliers and third party providers alike is the data held by the GDSs, which can be expensive and at times inaccessible. In comparison, blockchain technology is inherently easy to access and low cost, making it an undeniably attractive alternative. If the ease and cost of transactions got cheaper, the cost savings could be passed on to the guests while also adding to higher profit for the hotels. Well, in layman's terms, blockchain is a public ledger or list of digital records where transactions are recorded anonymously and permanently. The records or blocks in the database are secured using cryptography and once information has been recorded in the blockchain, the data cannot be altered. Blockchain is based on decentralized technology, meaning information isn't stored in a single location. This prevents manipulation and is what ensures the data remains transparent. The record of events is shared across a vast network which provides additional security benefits as there is no central point of failure or vulnerability. Blockchain records transactions in time-stamped blocks, each one of which is connected to all the blocks that preceded its creation and all those that follow it. Blockchains are distributed in a peer-to-peer -peer network with an identical copy on every participating network node. A blockchain exists out of blocks of data. These blocks of data are stored on nodes. Nodes can be any kind of device, mostly computers, laptops, or even bigger servers. Nodes form the infrastructure of a blockchain. All nodes on a blockchain are connected to each other and they constantly exchange the latest blockchain data with each other so all nodes stay up to date. They store, spread and preserve the data. A full node is basically a device, such as a computer, that contains a full copy of the transaction history of the blockchain. Nodes check if a block of transactions is valid and accept or reject it. Nodes save and store blocks of transactions, storing blockchain transaction history. Nodes broadcast and spread this transaction history to other nodes that may need to synchronize with the blockchain. Once a transaction has been recorded, no single participant can alter it. To do so, all the previous and subsequent blocks would also have to be altered. 
an impossibility for all practical purposes. Records on a blockchain are cryptographically secured with a private key for each node. A lot of people see blockchain technology being one and the same with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But this isn't the case. Blockchain can for sure support Bitcoin, but in its own right, blockchain has the potential for a wider range of non-financial uses. Blockchain has one feature important for international travel documentation, and this is known as smart contracts. These are essentially a set of business rules that execute a specific action when specific conditions are met. Initially designed for financial transactions, smart contracts could easily be used at airports to confirm if a traveller A has a valid ticket, B a valid visa, and C is travelling within the time constraints of their visa. These features offer a number of important benefits for international travellers. Put simply, no traveller can cheat. The records are permanent and can't be altered. Equally important, the exact same records reside on every node, eliminating potential disputes. And any attempt at tampering is immediately visible to all. So this means, for example, that fake visas would be a virtual impossibility. The chance for mistakes by check-in personnel would also be reduced, which in turn reduces the costs associated with those errors, as well as the chance that potential criminals could sneak through the system. Because of blockchain's technology's distributed nature, there is no single point of failure, and the system can never be down. Proof of identity is the only item that check-in personnel will need to verify. Check-in personnel have no need to understand the complexities of, of visa types, country-specific rules, and so on. Permissions and restrictions are already in the system. Eventually, ID verification could be accomplished through biometrics with no need for physical documentation at all. So basically, blockchain technology has the potential to dramatically improve the efficiency and effectiveness of travel documentation, whilst at the same time reducing costs. And in many ways, similar principles can be applied to the hotel industry, reducing friction points that ultimately can lead to a improved customer journey and experience. Hotels at the very least should be interested in blockchain and should actively seek to increase their awareness before considering ways to best adopt it. That said, we are in an industry that is highly fragmented, carrying with it a reputation for inability to often innovate from within and one that can be resistant to change. However, we are improving. And when the OTA stepped into the market, it's fair to say that they disrupted the world of GDS and online distribution. With blockchain, the current environment we're all familiar with today, including the high fees, might very well be reduced or even eventually removed altogether. So as blockchain moves more into the technology incorporated into our means of distribution, third parties such as the OTAs are potentially at risk of possibly having their profit model disrupted. And they are aware of this. Simplify availability, rate and inventory, so ARI updates. Using blockchain's public database could allow hotels to update some rate and availability information without the current outside intervention of an OTA or GDS. Data would be up to date, accuracy improved, and hotels could be working in a world with a reduced reliance on the middleman. With access to a blockchain database, hotels could bypass the third parties that they're currently working with. So effectively bypassing the Expedias, Booking.coms, Travagos, Kayaks and TripAdvisors of the world and enabling guests to book on their own. Users on both sides would ultimately benefit from reduced pricing and an improved flow through. Manage loyalty program transactions. Blockchain would not only efficiently manage loyalty program transactions, it could also connect hospitality industry business partners, meaning the processing and reconciling of transactions could happen in real time. This could be done by increasing the number of waypoints used by managing all loyalty account details and provide a complete audit trail as it happens. Points transfer and redemption would be simplified and smart contracts could also combine offers across airlines, hotels, car rental agencies, restaurants and all other partners. And this cross-pollination of loyalty programs across industries in particular is a very relevant topic as the major programs are all trying to find ways of offering greater value. Not just the typical earn and burn type of ecosystem. Security. One of the most obvious advantages is the security and the stability of data. I mentioned earlier that all data is decentralized and traceable and that databases effectively never go offline. 
and they can't be removed or infiltrated through cyber attacks which is important when dealing with financial or personal data. Payments. In addition, the technology could have a vital role to play in simplifying actual payments. At present, this can be somewhat complicated, especially when dealing with overseas settlements. With the use of blockchain technology, the entire process can be potentially streamlined and made more transparent, which ultimately would increase trust. Storage and access. The travel industry relies upon information and even personal possessions being passed between multiple companies. The blockchain can make both accessing and storing of information much easier, allowing for enhanced collaboration and ultimately improving the overall travel and lodging experience for the customer. Leveraging open APIs to accelerate speed to market of new services. Blockchain incorporates open source APIs. As hotels embrace blockchain, those open APIs would inevitably come into wider use, supporting even greater interoperability. This could help reduce the need for multiple individual contracts with many companies that own separate databases containing information regarding availability rates and more enabling innovative new services to reach the market. Protect data privacy and prevent identity theft. Blockchain would enable personal information such as addresses and social security numbers, as well as documents like driver's licenses, passports and birth certificates to be stored in a network that offers optimum data privacy, greatly contributing to the prevention of identity theft. Hotels could continue to acknowledge and know their customer while still protecting their customers' personally identifiable information, something we discussed in detail in November's GDPR editorial. So in closing, in many cases our industry still runs on old tech and is dominated by intermediaries with even newer gatekeepers emerging on the horizon. So the idea of implementing blockchain could very well seem something way off in the distance. But don't be too complacent, it may be closer than you think. Forward-thinking companies such as TUI, Lufthansa and Nordic Choice Hotels have already implemented elements of blockchain into their thinking and future strategies. And quite possibly, quietly running in the background, there are other large industry brands who are also investigating their own blockchain strategies based on their tech stack to determine the best ways to introduce it. And the reason why? Because it can't be ignored that there are many cases for blockchain in the hotel industry. This vertical is extremely sensitive to customer sentiment due to its direct impact on brand value. Blockchain offers enormous potential in terms of reducing third-party involvement, enhancing security, improving the speed and ease of transactions, and allowing important information to be accessed really from anywhere at any time. All of this will ultimately improve customer experiences, drive back-end processes to be more efficient whilst improving overall brand value, and regardless how big or small the operation is. Get educated. As always, become aware and stay informed of the latest happenings. The best way to stay on top of any emerging technology is to dive right in it. Get to know the applications of blockchain in hospitality. There are already a number of use cases for blockchain in hospitality. Some would include the streamlining of availability, rate and inventory, and descriptive content updates. Keep your eye on the OTAs. Some people believe that blockchain has the potential to put many of the OTAs out of business but don't underestimate them. The OTAs are very resilient and adaptive and take these types of challenges head on. Watch what the big players and the market leaders are doing. As I mentioned, companies such as TUI, Lufthansa and Nordic Choice have all implemented blockchain technology into their businesses. Monitor the progress from those guys, learn from their learnings and benefit from them breaking the ice. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that video. Until next time, it's bye for now.